Greetings, Preacher Rick with you with the Word of God one more time in the womb. Thank God. Made us, He made us in the womb. Known from the womb. We've been known as the title of our lesson today. God created you and I, and we all know that. And God planted us on this earth for a purpose and a reason. As we preached the other day, we all have a purpose, and it's for the glory of God. And the sooner we find our purpose, the better off we all are. I'd like to read to you about some old prophets and how God used them to show us that uh, we are living creatures before we're ever born in this world. As soon as God creates us in conce at conception, it says in the book of uh, Jeremiah, the first chapter, before I formed thee at conception, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee even before conception, really. But either way you look at it, before conception or right upon conception, before our body is formed. Either way, God said, I knew that. He told Jeremiah that. God uh, made us in his image and likeness. We are forever creatures, if you'll pardon the expression, the term. We are forever creatures. God has made us in his image and likeness. And God always has been and we shall always be from this point on. And he knew Jeremiah before he even formed him. And that's what he said to him. Now, first of all, what you have to do is believe the Bible. And if you believe the Bible, you'll believe this. A lot, just like you believe that Jesus died for you. And it goes on and on. So knowing that you believe the Bible, then you won't have a problem understanding this. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe the Bible is infallible. But it is. God's words don't fall to the ground. Now it says, Before I formed thee in the belly, this is chapter 1, verse 5 of Jeremiah, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. What's that mean? It means I set you apart for a special purpose. Just like, uh, you know, you could use any item to understand sanctification. Uh, a, a billfold, it's sanctified to carry your money in a purse, same thing. Uh, a sink is sanctified to clench your self in a shaving or, or, or whatever, wash your hands in uh, or wash dishes in. It's set apart for that purpose. And that's what it means to be sanctified, set apart for God's purpose. So before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Uh, now it goes on, that's someone else's phone. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So God ordained Jeremiah way before he was ever born as a prophet unto the nations. Now, in the book of Isaiah, it says in the 49th chapter in the first verse, and this was another prophet, Isaiah and Jeremiah, both major prophets in the word of God, said, Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people from far, the Lord hath called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name before I was ever born. So we see that. Now, if you go back to Job, and this was Job speaking in the 32nd chapter, first, 31st chapter of Job, the 15th verse, he said, Did not he that made me in the womb make him, talking of some other? Now, and did not one fashion us in the womb? Did not God fashion us in the womb? He made us in the womb. And we need to realize that today. Now, people question whether or not uh, they believe today in abortion. There's no question about it in the word of God. Uh, that thou shalt not uh, kill. And so if we're made in the image of God and created in the womb and God knows us before he forms us, that means that we are someone can be killed. So abortion is killing. And not to condemn people that have already been through that, but to give you hope that God will forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness, sin, sin. And what's done is done, and there's no change in that. And you can bank on it that Jesus loves you and he will help you through this and he will forgive your sins and your shortcomings and cleanse you and put you and purge you as we preached yesterday just like you need to be purged 
Who does it? We all uh, were born in sin. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Uh, but what I'd like to get at is not so much whether God for, will forgive you for past sins. It's so that we'll know that it is sin. And we will teach our children and our grandchildren and the, the people we live around why it's so very important that we're pro-life, as they call it. Because life belongs uh, to God, and uh, only God can pronounce death uh, rightfully. Uh, and if we do it, we're, we're considered murderers. And that's the last thing we want to be, is a murderer. So we need to realize this today, and we need to preach the truth. And it's so important that we understand that this could be part of the judgment upon any nation. Any nation that allows abortion and makes it, uh, makes it uh, very easy to get and, and has it in the laws that it's a good thing and uh, uses tax money to, to do it like our nation is, uh, is going to face a, a tough judgment for that. That's the nation. That's the nation itself, not each individual person. Each individual person is going to face judgment for how they perceive the Word of God and how they live the Word of God, whether or not they live the Word of God, whether or not they live for the Lord Jesus Christ, whether they're truly born, whether they've ever repented of their sins and been saved. All these things are so very important in all of our lives. Uh, but get into this subject. Uh, uh, we see that these old prophets, uh, that God ordained them in their mother's womb. God knew them before he ever formed them. Uh, uh, God named them, and God knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, uh, and, you know, God's no respecter of persons. Uh, uh, yes, we're all in the body of Christ. Uh, uh, thank God once we're saved. Uh, and it's always God's will that you're saved. The Bible says uh, it's not God's will that any should perish uh, but that all should come to repentance and with that knowledge uh, uh, we know that we're all uh, the children of God once we get saved then God's no respecter of persons uh, and he might call one to preach like myself uh, he might call another to teach uh, uh, he might call another uh, to do this and do that drive a bus uh, uh, whatever it might be be a deacon in a church be a Sunday school superintendent uh, be a mother that teaches the children correctly Directly and teaches a other young lady, an older lady that teaches young ladies uh, how to live a holy life, uh, one that respects God and one that shows uh, the goodness of God by the life they're living. Uh, I thank God in all these different calls, but we're all in the same body, uh, and God's no respecter of persons. Uh, and it's just like the forgiveness of sin. There's, God's no respecter of persons. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, we need to realize uh, that abortion is very ungodly. Uh, it is not ordained uh, uh, at all. God does not permit it. Uh, uh, there, that's not. A, it's not abortion when there's an emergency surgery and a, a lady loses her baby. Uh, and that's not abortion. Abortion is just the decision uh, to do away with a pregnancy. Uh, and, and we must realize uh, that that's wrong. Uh, because uh, it's life, and God creates life, and God made us uh, in His image and likeness. Uh, uh, thank God forever, and I'm so glad to know Him in the pardon uh, and remission of sin, aren't you? Uh, and I, I'm glad that God gives us guidelines to go by, and we know Him, uh, uh, thank God, and we know uh, uh, that God is able to do far and exceeding above that which we ask or think. So with that kind of knowledge, uh, uh, it's my duty as a preacher, uh, to bring this out to help people to see their erring way. Uh, uh, that's just like, uh, uh, how could you possibly uh, uh, serve God and vote somebody in office uh, uh, that would commit uh, uh, to these things? Uh, that, see, those kind of things are so important in our life. Uh, and that's not getting into politics. Uh, uh, that's just getting into God's Word and telling what, how we have to stand as Christians. Uh, we need to realize these things are so important in our life. Uh, uh, we need to understand uh, uh, that God has given us guidelines. Uh, uh, you know, each one of us is alive today because our mother didn't have an abortion. That's one of the reasons we're here today. Uh, and don't think that people uh, don't make eternal choices like that, because they do. Uh, and I'm glad my mother didn't, and I'm glad your mother didn't, or we wouldn't be here even discussing it. Uh, uh, we need to understand uh, that uh, Jeremiah would 
wouldn't have been there had his mother or Isaiah, uh, but God ordained them from their mother's womb, and he knew them before uh, he formed them uh, in their mother. And we need to uh, uh, take that uh, very serious today, and we need to bless the Lord Jesus Christ uh, uh, by living, uh, uh, thank God, a life that uh, uh, he has ordained for us to live where we preach the truth. Uh, and, and you know, it's the truth that will set you free, uh, and you need to realize today uh, that Jesus Christ is that truth. Uh, uh, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, uh, thank God forever. Uh, and he knows exactly uh, uh, what your need is today. He knows what you needed to hear, what I needed to preach, uh, and who uh, uh, needed to hear this even in the future, however long uh, God tarries in his coming. Let's just video get out there. Uh, uh, but we need to preach the truth. Uh, right's right and wrong's wrong. Uh, and abortion is wrong. It's very, very uh, wrong. And a nation will uh, uh, surely face judgment because of it. You can bank on that. Uh, uh, who knows the judgment we might already be facing uh, because of the many, many abortions that's been, uh, uh, that's been uh, uh, done in our nation uh, since about, way back in the 70s and the ones even before it was uh, uh, made legal. Uh, but who knows uh, uh, how, uh, how God hadn't already judged us by not allowing us to have uh, uh, wonderful men that could lead us right. Our country doesn't seem to be led correctly anymore. Maybe the man that would have led us correctly, someone aborted him. Maybe the man that could have uh, given us a cure for cancer, someone aborted him. Who knows? But I know this much. It's wrong. And we need to preach it, teach it, and put it out there. Right's right and wrong's wrong, and that's wrong. Well, that's a solemn message today. I realize that. God bless you, each and every one. I'm so glad that you joined us. Please push the share button and teach the rest of the world uh, this solemn sermon. God bless you. This is Preacher Rick. Until the next time, we love you all. We really do. God bless you. Bye-bye.